it's your girl Steph here and today we are on board the beautiful Freedom of the Seas and as you can see we are in Miami, Florida. I have a question. Are you thinking about taking a back-to-back -back cruise on the Freedom of the Seas or any ship possibly to the Bahamas to see my Remembering Whitney, the greatest voice of all show? Yes, I know. I hope your answer is yes. And you're gonna wanna pay attention and stay tuned to this video. Today is disembarkation slash embarkation day and I am doing a back-to-back -back cruise on board the Freedom of the Sea. So it's about nine o'clock a.m. I'm gonna take you through the whole entire process from where we go to the lounge, where we meet, going through customs, getting back on board the ship. I'll try to answer any questions you all might have. But before we get into it, you know how we do it. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Please comment and like and subscribe and turn on your notifications, notifications, notifications. Let's get into this instructional back-to-back -back cruise on board the Freedom of the Seas. Let's go. Okay, guys, so first question people sometimes have, do you have to pack your stuff up and take it off the ship with you and bring it back on? No, you do not. You just leave your stuff in your room. Now, if you are switching staterooms, obviously, yes, you'd have to pack your stuff up by 9 a.m., get out of the room so they can get that uh, your old room ready for the next guest. But we're good to go. So we're gonna head down to the Star Lounge, which is located on deck five forward. We're supposed to be there between nine and 9.30 a.m. That's nine and 9.30 a.m. So it's about 9.05 right now. So I'm gonna head down there. I'll show you where the Star Lounge is. Let's go. Okay, the things you're gonna wanna make sure you have with you are your stateroom key or your what is it your cruise sea pass key you're gonna want to make sure you have that uh your passport i don't know <laughs> your purse L ladies whatever stuff you take into your purse so the star lounge is located on deck five forward so that's where we're heading to good morning sir that's where we're heading to to uh check in so Explorer and quantum majesty Ain't no place that I'd rather be Don't forget the voyage of pretty please Allure and ovation of the seas These are the ships of royalty Independence and jewel of the seas Just come and say I'm choosing royal Oh, cause they're so good Okay guys, so I came to The Star Lounge, I'm sitting back in the corner Cause I don't want to disturb anyone But here's what happened so far I told you I'm taking you through the process so there's a lovely officer. She's gonna explain everything, explain the rules. This is where you'll line up and they will give you your new cruise card. But you remember, you have to hold on to your old cruise card in order to be able to disembark the ship. And then once you get off the ship, then you can pitch that, get rid of it, but hold on to your new cruise card. You also can get an in-transit card. I didn't take one because I'm not gonna get off and go ashore in Miami. But if you would like to go ashore in Miami, you wanna make sure you get one of those in-transit cards. That card is gonna make sure that when you come back on board, that you don't have to go through customs and immigration again because you've already done that. Now, if you decide to go ashore in Miami, you, you can't come back until what time? Until after general boarding has already started, which is gonna be after about 11.30 a.m. So you can't come back after a couple of hours. Next, if you're hungry in the morning, and I'm literally looking at the letter that they give you guys, I'm just putting it into a video format because that's something that honestly I would wanna see. So if you're hungry, you can eat at the Windjammer Buffet from 6 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. and then they'll shut it down to prepare it for the next cruise. That's located on deck 11 uh, aft. Also, you can eat in the main dining room. They'll have breakfast there if you want a proper sit-down breakfast. That's on deck three from 7 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. And you can also go grab a snack, a croissant, a donut, some fruit, coffee in Cafe Promenade, which is located on deck five from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Because sometimes, you know, people get hungry 
uh, in the morning. I am not going to be eating this morning because I'm going to go to the gym and then I'm filming my next video for you all today, which is the tour of Playmakers, the sports bar. And it's so cool on the Freedom of the Seas. So I got to save room for these. I can't decide if I'm going to get the chicken wings or the burger. Both are really, really good. I can't decide. So once you've checked in, got your new cruise card, you sit down or yeah, breakfast is pretty much over by 9 a.m. So everybody's just kind of sitting, hanging in the lounge. I'll spin you around so you can see. There's not too many of us, which means the process shouldn't take that long. Sometimes on the Oasis class ship, there's literally like, you know, 80 to 100 people that have to do these back-to-back -back cruises, but it doesn't look like there's that many people so that's cool so the next time you see me i guess will be when once because we can't here's the thing we can't get off the ship and because a lot of people are like why are we sitting here waiting what's taking so long because some days it takes longer you know we might be sitting here till 10 30 for an hour before we can actually disembark the reason for that is because we cannot get off the ship until every single passenger that's actually disembarking and going home until they get off. And sometimes there's medical emergencies. Sometimes people just sleep in because they're hungover because this is a three day party cruise to, to Coco Cay. Sometimes there's, you know, a swinger cruise that you go on. Y'all, I went on this swinger cruise. Oh my gosh, on the Oasis of the Seas. This was in December of 2021. 4,000 people on board. 4,000 people on board for this charter swinger cruise. And I talk all about it on my channel. If you want to see that video, make sure you go to my playlist and click on my first swinger cruise. The video has almost uh, 9,000 views. Oh my gosh. Anyway, that back-to-back -back process because the next cruise was a Thanksgiving cruise. Honey, we were sitting there for maybe an hour and a half, two hours, because people literally partied up until the time it was time to disembark. They were, I mean, you should have seen them walking off the ship, the ship, the walk of shame. It was the walk of cruise shame. So that's why that process uh, took so long for us to be able to get off. But hopefully on the freedom, it won't take as long. I'll check back in with you and let you know how long it's been. It's about 9, 15, 9, 20 right now. So I'll let you know how long we've been sitting in the in the lounge before we take off. And then I'll, um, I can't film when we go through through customs, but they're just going to do the facial recognition thing and then they'll escort us uh, back on board. I will check back in once it's time for us to disembark. See you in a bit. Okay guys, it's 9.52 and we are on the move. This is when you're going to want to pull out your old cruise car. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Hi, good morning. <laughs> this is when you're going to want to pull out your old cruise car, have it ready to go so you can disembark the ship. And it's again 9:52, so maybe 35, 40 minutes. But here we are. That's the brand new terminal here in Miami. Everybody's getting escorted off. There's a shot of Miami in the background. Hey, Miami! We're gonna get off, go through customs, do our facial recognition. And once everybody's done that, we come back on board. I'll see you in a bit. Yeah. Don't forget about the cool, cool crew. Always there taking care of you You come back home feeling brand new It's the only way to cruise I'm choosing Royal uh, Cause they're so good to me I'm choosing Royal Best ships that I've ever seen And just like that, it's about 10.30 in the morning guys so We're already back on board And I'm coming to you from inside Playmakers Sports Bar on board beautiful freedom of the seas and that's where i'll be vlogging next we're gonna have some chicken wings i think i've decided on the wings i got the burger the other day and i'm gonna get the chicken wings so they got really really good wings so you're gonna want to tune into that video i upload every monday wednesday and friday 9 a.m eastern time 8 a.m central time 6 a.m pacific time so make sure you turn on those post notifications so you know when i'm uploading another video okay also, 
when you get back on the ship you're gonna want to after you go through customs that process was really simple really really easy once you get back on that's when you want to pull out your new cruise card show that because you're gonna have to recheck in and also you will have to go check in at your muster station again they haven't quite started yet i think they start about 11 o'clock for for me on here so i'm gonna go after i go to the gym because i need to prepare for these doggone chicken wings okay thank you all so much for tuning in i hope this back-to-back -back cruise video was helpful for you if you have any other questions feel free to comment below but i'm checking out of here so i can work out because i'm so excited for these chicken wings here at playmakers i love you guys make sure you comment and like and subscribe and turn on your notifications 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 i will see you all in the next video i love you Peace. the lady still thanks you for watching